Hey everybody, Dede Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Charming Empire along Toki Tamba's route. If you'd like to hear Kei Yoshimine's route, please visit Rob's romantic gaming channel. Link in the description and the cards. But as for Toki, we've been working for Baum Kuchen and Caramel. <laughs> no, we don't need money. Sure, you don't know anything about our circumstances, supposedly, but uh, no, why would I want to work for money? Sweets are the best, yeah. I'm sure I could pay rent with that if I had to. Anyway, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Welcome. I smile at the customers as they come into the cafe. It's only been a few days, but I've gotten the hang of waitressing. Tampa's in the kitchen. I feel like he gives me more responsibility now that the regulars know who I am. Hmm? Where's Toki? A female customer comes into the cafe and gives me a suspicious look. What? You know the deal by now, don't ya? He's in the kitchen. Should I go get him? No thanks. He'll come out sooner or later. Still glaring at me, the woman sighs and takes a seat at the counter. What's your deal, lady? She's wearing a colorful kimono, and her face is fully made up. She's the pretty, stylish type of girl who stands out in the crowd. Unfortunately, there's an ugly scowl on her pretty face. Here you go. I quickly serve her a glass of water. But she just gazes at the kitchen and doesn't give me the time of day. Rude. Maybe I should go get Tanba after all. I'm about to go into the kitchen when the woman calls to me. Hey, what's your relationship with Toki? Her unexpected question makes me stumble on my words. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm helping Tanba with the cafe now, but he's not really my boss. Are we friends? No, that's not right. Then what are we? As I search for an answer, a regular sitting nearby jumps in with a grin. Oh god, please don't say I'm his wife. They're married, of course. God, you're not helping! No, we're not! The woman narrows her eyes at me when I deny what the regular says. Hm, huh, so you're the girl Toki's been talking about. Tama told you about me? What did he say? The woman ignores my question and stands up from her chair. Um, are you leaving? The woman walks toward the door without a word. When she reaches the door, she turns back to me. Toki hits on everyone. Every girl in this neighborhood has been a victim of his smooth talking. That alone is bad enough, but recently... I gulp in fear as the woman glares at me even harder. I feel sorry for you, so I'll let you in on something before it's too late. Toki's nice to all the girls. He might be spending a lot of time with you lately, but it's probably just a fling. I don't think you're anything special. With that, the woman leaves the cafe. I stare at the door in shock. Whoa, talk about a bad mouth. Don't let her bother you. A regular customer calls out to me when I find myself frozen in place. Yeah, I'm fine. My mouth forms words, but my mind is a complete blank. Why am I so upset? Maybe I really did think I was special. It's true that my guard is down when Tampa's kind to me. And I take it for granted that he's always here to greet me, but... At the same time, I know that such a kind and fun guy has to be popular with the girls. Especially if he walks up to them on the street like he did with me. What if he thinks I'm annoying for coming to the cafe every day? Hey, what are you just standing there for? Tom calls out to me from behind and interrupts my train of thought. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I quickly try to hide my feelings, but Tom gives me a serious look. It doesn't look like nothing. Tell me what's on your mind. Uh, oh man, it doesn't matter which one I choose. Which one should I choose? I want to choose what's our relationship, because what do you mean can I come by every day? I, I've been coming by every day no matter what he says. What's our relationship? Uh, our relationship? Well, I'm not really your boss. Then, are we friends? That's, that's kind of depressing. Tomba crosses his arms and starts thinking along the same line that I did. Actually, forget it. I was just wondering. Sorry for being weird. Our relationship doesn't change the fun times we shared, so there's nothing to worry about. The girl was just here. The regular who called out to me explains the situation. What? Jeez, what's her problem? Tomba sighs and turns back to me. Forget about her. She's a bad person, but, well... As far as I'm concerned, you're welcome here for as long as you want. Okay, I'm glad to hear you say that. Phew, 
At least now I know I'm not just in the way. But that woman called Tamba by his first name. I wonder how they know each other. Not to mention, the regular customers seem to know who she is. I've been coming here every day, but there's a lot I'm still in the dark about. Including Tanba. Just the thought of that suddenly makes my heart ache. There's not a sound outside as I stay up gazing at the ceiling from my bed. It's so quiet. Quiet nights are even lonelier after a day at the cafe. It's a lot better than spending the whole day feeling lonely, though. I'm so spoiled. May I, princess? Come in. I'm sorry to disturb you before bed, but I forgot to pick up your dishes. Oh, sorry. I was going to take them down later, but completely forgot. The maid walks over to the table where I had dinner. Thanks for coming all this way to get them. It's my job. Her expression doesn't change as she picks up the plates. This isn't good. I don't want the palace to be this uncomfortable forever. Um, if you don't mind, could we talk for a while? Talk? About what? What about... Well, I hadn't thought that far ahead. <laughs> Do you ever, Amane? <laughs> I never had to have a specific topic in mind when I talk to people in the countryside. If you don't have anything to talk about, I'll be going now. The maid turns her back to me and heads toward the door. Hey, wait! Yes? The maid turns around with the same look on her face, but there's a chill in her voice. Man, why do my servants suck? She must think I'm annoying for holding her up so much. She's working, after all. Never mind. I see. Then if you'll excuse me. The maid quickly leaves the room. I gaze at the closed, heavy doors. This isn't easy. Since so she is busy, I'm alone in this palace. How sad. I breathe a deep sigh to clear my mind. There's no point in getting depressed. I can always go to see Tanba during my free time, so I need to work harder at my job in the palace. I fall asleep trying to figure out the least annoying way to talk to people here. <laughs> Let's see, how can I talk to people but not annoy them? That requires some strategy. Hey, can you come by tomorrow? Tamba calls out to me as I'm about to leave the cafe after day's work. Yeah, I was planning to. Okay, great. Tamba's face lights up like a kid. Why is he acting like that when I stop by practically every day? Oh, so it's not every day? Thought it was every day. Then there's a festival tomorrow. I'll take the day off if you're around. So, will you go with me? Oh, a festival? My face probably lights up even more than Tanba's. A festival in a lively place like the capital has to be fun, and it'd be even better with Tanba. Can you really take the day off? Don't worry. No one comes to the cafe during the festival. Are you sure? But... Uh, da, 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 da. Can I really go with you? Are you sure? Are you really, really, really sure? Can I really go with you? Of course you can. I'm inviting you because I want to go together. Tama's reply makes me happy, but it suddenly makes me remember what the female customer said. But why go with me when you have so many friends? Friends? You mean my regular customers? It's much more fun going with you. Oh, hey. Are you worried about what that girl said? Well, yeah, kind of. I used to talk to a lot of cute girls on the street, but I haven't been doing it lately. There aren't any girls cuter than you. Oh. For some reason, Tamba's usual smooth talking doesn't make me feel better. How can that not make you feel better? But the town is filled with beautiful people. That girl who came by was gorgeous. So are you, Amane. You don't have to be nice. My confidence wanes when I compare myself to everyone else, and Tanma doesn't know what to say. He stops to think and finally scratches his head before he speaks. I just want to go with you, okay? If you don't hate me, I want us to go together. I can never hate you. I want to go with you, too. Great, then let's go. And so Tanba and I go to the festival together. Uh, isn't it tomorrow? Oh well, I guess we're going now. <laughs> so this is what a festival at the capital is like. All the decorations make the capital even more glamorous than usual. Soshi gave me permission to stay out past my curfew tonight. It's exciting just thinking about being able to stay out with Tamba later and longer than usual. But the shopping district is lively enough to beat my excitement. Everything's so festive. The people can only do something this big once a year. But it's the same every year. This big festival is every year? 
There were festivals in the countryside, but they were never as big as this. And the shops were never covered in so many decorations. It might look full of energy, but... Tomba sounds more vague than usual. But? Never mind. You don't need to know. Tomba breaks out in a smile. I want to know what he means, but I'm afraid to ask. I shouldn't ask something Tomba doesn't want to talk about. I turn back to the festival and notice all the smiles. We pass by families and young girls and all sorts of happy groups. Seeing everyone smile makes me smile too. Oh, happy day. This is only the second time Tamba and I have gone out together. Oh, that's right. We haven't gone out together since the, uh, theater, huh? Busy, busy. Since we're always at the cafe, it feels like I'm seeing him in a new light out here. I'm about to tell him this when I feel a hand on my shoulder. Tan... I turn around to find two men I've never seen before. Toki, where'd you go? Hey, are you alone? You can come with us if you want. I'm surprised to find these strange men behind me. I guess Tamba's not the only playboy in town. The two men tell me what shops have the best food and which are the most popular. Oh, well, that's nice of them. <laughs> but still, where'd Toki go? I've lost Tamba. I need to go find him. Sorry, I just lost the person I was with, so I need to find... As I try to walk away from the men, someone grabs my arm and pulls me toward them. Whoa! It's Tanba. Oh, thank goodness. That I was being kidnapped for a second there. Sorry, I lost you. Who are these guys? He glances at the guys who have been talking to me. Uh, she has a boyfriend? I told you cute girls like that don't come here alone. The guys walk away into the crowd without a word to Tanba. Tanba lets go of my arm once they're out of sight. Sorry for pulling you. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I let my guard down. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm not a kid. I left Tomba's comment off as a joke. You are more trouble than a kid. Huh? I'm confused when Tomba doesn't laugh too. No, I just have to keep a closer eye on you. Come on, let's go have some fun. Yeah. I have the feeling today is going to be unforgettable. I hope I can get to know Tomba a little better today. He told me not to worry about it, but compared to his regular customers, I feel so far away from him. Maybe I can fill in that distance by approaching him myself. I lift my head and walk toward him, with the festival's energy pushing me forward. What's my plan? Oh, darn it! We'll have to find out my plan in episode 7. Eh. <laughs> so hope to see you there for that. That just felt short. Oh, that was short. That was short for one of Toki's chapters. Eh. Nothing I can do about that. Well, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.